Hey, Homestead Prepper. Today we're going to put some expansion plugs in the small block Chevy project that I've been working on. I've uh, got some brand new expansion plugs. Uh, some people call them core plugs. Uh, guys, whatever you do, you don't want to call these things freeze plugs because the internet police will get all over you for that even though that's what we called them for years. Okay, uh, So, you know, the correct term, <laughs> I guess, is uh, for this manufacturer's expansion plug. Um, I guess if you're talking to machinists, they're core plugs. And if you're talking to someone like me, uh, who bought a freeze plug driver, boy, these people are going to get in trouble for calling it that. Uh, you know, who, who knows what's going to happen, guys. So I'm just going to uh, just do it. I've got some uh, Scotch Bright, which I'm going to put some of that uh, brake cleaner in there, and I'm going to clean that stuff out. And then I'm going to put some sealer on there now some people say you shouldn't put sealer in there some people say you should and some people say if you use the sealer that when it gets cold the uh, expansion plug ooh, I almost called it a freeze plug the expansion plug will not pop out and it will crack the engine okay well guys uh, I uh, haven't had a problem with the uh, the freeze plugs and all my other engines that I've driven and used from popping out usually what happened is they uh, they rust it out okay they get a rust hole and they start leaking it's a real pain in the butt to replace those while they're in the car so I like to use brass now you notice that's a steel one that's going in the cam tunnel right there but um, this is an inch and five eighths driver for these and these are going here and the ones you really want to make sure you do well are the ones in the black back because if they start leaking then you have to pull the uh, transmission off okay and you've got some right here you actually you don't want any of them to leak because it will be a real pain no matter where it is to try and put it in while it's installed in the car or truck so uh, let me get these things cleaned up right here these expansion plug bores uh, get those cleaned up and we'll uh, we'll see about installing them all right let's get these things cleaned up here let's put a little brake cleaner in there now some people use uh, sandpaper, Just you can use whatever you want, just make sure they're clean, that's relatively clean, get this one, that one cleaned out, okay guys that's basically all I'm doing. Okay guys I, I have not installed these yet, I just wanted to point out if you can see how that's oriented right there with the engine. If you were to install that like that, you didn't pay attention, it would look unprofessional, okay? You built this engine for somebody and they got in there one day and they were looking at that and they said, man, that person didn't know what they were doing. They probably even call them freeze plugs instead of expansion plugs. Now, if you look at this one, this one, it looks correct, but it's really not because if we look at the engine, we can see that it's upside down. So, uh, when I install this one, I want to put this one like that and then that way when the engine is installed in our car truck jeep whatever it's going in uh, and we're looking at it right side up it does not look upside down so <laughs> okay guys so I just thought I'd uh, point that out um, I need to clean these up with that brake clean there may be some residue on here and we don't want to put any residue around there all we want to do is put some of this uh, gasket sealer on there so we don't have any leaks so let me get those cleaned up and then we'll uh, we'll try and install one all right, well, let's uh, try and put a little sealer on these things. sure that that is oriented the proper way and let's put a little sealer on this one Barber back in there and get our expansion plugs done properly. 
And let's uh, see if we can hammer it in there. Well, that one went in pretty good. Let's try this one over here. Guys, I would say that that looks pretty good. And the big advantage of using this tool instead of a socket is this is only going to knock it in so far. Okay, so all right. Well, let's uh, let's get on to the other ones. Get that cleaned off. All right, let's do the ones in the front. We got good coverage. Same thing with this one. And as you see, I am mounting it upside down to us. It will be right side up when we get done. too much on there guys but uh, I don't want any leaks either so let's wipe some of that stuff off alright get our fancy fancy tool and they uh, do take a little bit of force to put these in. Perfect. Okay, let's do the ones over here on the other side. That one in the back wasn't perfect. We want nothing less than perfection, or at least close to it. It just makes it all too simple. back with some uh, that brake cleaner and uh, do a little better job of cleaning that up but I'll go ahead and get these back here installed now guys it really doesn't matter back here because nobody's ever going to see them unless they leak and you'll see that you put them upside down but we're gonna we're gonna try and do them all proper here so we're gonna try it
And we have an abundance of sealer. Okay. That's pretty straight to me. Ooh, I hate when that happens. Alright, I hope that got on camera. But I got a sneaking suspicion that these are not going to leak. So, we'll let that dry. I'll get that cleaned up and there's a couple more plugs we need to put in. Like these right here need to be installed. So, let me get that ready. Trying to make a video here. Okay, guys, uh, this is the rear cam plug right here. It goes right here. And there again, you want to make sure you install it upside down. So when we turn the motor right side up, it's right side up too. And it's on your engine stand. It you know it doesn't look all funny and everything. It looks look correct like it's supposed to. Um, there are two different sizes of these uh, plugs right here. This one is a 2 and 7 64 I don't know if y'all can read that or not. Uh, but there is another size. I think it's 2 and 3, 3 30 seconds. 2 and 3 30 seconds. And if you put the wrong size in there, uh, you're going to have big problems. So what, I, what I've done is I've kept the old one. And we can see that it is the same. Okay? So... The, the confusion might be this is a two-piece seal and some of the later ones are one-piece one piece seals and then you might have a different size plug. So always keep the old one when you get your parts and that way you don't make that mistake. Now, we're going to put a little bit of seal on here. Now, I don't have a tool for this. I didn't see one, two, and seven sixty-fourths. So we're going to have to use the old tried and true method, use a uh, socket. Now, this is a three-quarter drive. What is it? Inch and seven sixteenths, and it just just does fit in there. But we definitely want to put some sealer on that. And you know what? I forgot to make sure it was clean. Okay, guys. Well, for whatever reason, my camera shut off. Okay, now I just happened to catch that. Um, I, I put just a little bit of this around the edge of that. I didn't kind of go as crazy as I did on the uh, the freeze. Whoops! I was calling them freeze plugs, expansion plugs. Okay. I didn't go as crazy uh, as I did on that. I just, you want to put a little bit on the uh, the rim here. This is the old one. And what I did is I just put this on here and I just hammered it on. And it's just, you can see that it's just a little bit below flush. Just a hair. So, alright, well, I can't believe that didn't record. But uh, anyway, you saw how those went in. It went in the same way. You just, you're beating on 
this, um, what is this, an inch and seven sixteenth socket. And I'm pretty sure you heard me say keep the old one and uh, make sure it matches up. Okay. And we want to make sure we put it in the correct way, guys, because uh, when we turn this over, uh, you have this on an engine stand, your buddies come over and you see that all cocked a funny angle, they're going to look at you and, you know, probably make fun of you. So make sure you put it in the right way, okay? <laughs> all right. Uh, we got more plugs to put in here. Boy, a bunch of them. Where can they all go? All right. Let's, let's find out. Okay, guys. Next on our list is this... Uh, little plug that goes right here. Now some people tap these out and put um, put these type of plugs in there and I guess if this was you know like going to be a racing engine or something I might do that but this is just going in a Jeep so I don't think we need that. Um, I am going to put a little bit of Seaver on it just for a little insurance. Just a smidge. Any extra guys is going to get pushed out. It's not going to get pushed into the engine. So let's uh, let's put that on there. And uh, I'm, I'm just using a bolt for this one right here. Okay, we want to take a chisel and kind of X that out right there so that uh, that it doesn't back off. Alright, we got these three little plugs here. I've already cleaned them with uh, brake cleaner. And we're going to put just a little bit of uh, this uh, sealer here that I've spilled on it. Stuff can be messy.
all right we got that all tidied up um guys i went ahead and uh put these in right here uh they have a stop and what i did is i just used this uh three eighths inch bolt until you can you could see the rim in there and stop now this one the rim was gone okay <laughs> and this one went back there and, and you could hear it stop you can see about how far back and there it is and like I said this one just pushed on through I had to get that rod out right there take that center plug out and beat that little thing out again and I uh, got a tap now this is um, quarter inch NPT and I just tapped it out just a little bit and it worked fine now these over here these don't tap out I would have to go to something larger than this and I didn't want to do that so that's why you see what you got there and I know this one is not going to come out okay so just need to make sure those are staked in there and those are good and I think all that's left is well, I'm going to have to get another plug because I'm short one I need to put this plug in here and that plug in here and then we need to do the one that everybody forgets about so let's do that Okay, we're looking at the rear of the engine upside down and this is called the forgotten plug. It's a half inch plug that you have to stick down near the right depth. And what I've got here is you can see where that oil filter goes and you see that hole and that's right there in that one. And then if you go down a little bit farther, there's another hole. And if you don't put that plug in there, it will bypass the oil filter and it can affect your oil pressure. So you don't want to forget it okay so it goes down about an inch and three-eighths I'm right at the top of the hole right now with this little wire let's uh, let's mark it okay and then what we'll do is measure that and we'll see what uh, Like I said, it's recommended that you go down about an inch and three eighths. So that's about 1.59. So as long as we don't go down any deeper than that, we should be fine. I think if I put this at one point Actually, it's going to be 1.375. You know, it's going to be hard to get it there, but one point or about. If as long as we don't go any deeper than that, we will uh, we'll be below that hole, and we'll be above the other holes down there that you can't see. And I think we'll be fine. So let's uh, let's just drop that down there. That's uh, a half inch plug. Okay, and I already cleaned that out. Oh. Let's see what that does. Well, we are pretty close to it, guys. Well, we're going to call that 
a wrap. So that's the forgotten plug. If you can, if you can see in there, a flashlight. If you can see in there or not, but um, you can see there to the right. There's a hole. You can see that hole right there, and the plug is above that. There's another hole below that one. If you block that off, <laughs> or you don't put it in, like I said, it won't go through the oil filter. So this one is fine. We're about an inch and three eighths, which is 1.375 down in the hole and I think that is going to work okay so that's the forgotten plug don't forget about it or you uh, might have problems okay I might be being a little OCD right here but uh, you can see that plug installed in there and I checked it with the wire but I, I just really want to make double darn sure that we've got this here this is the steel rod that I used to uh, uh, knock the plug out and put stuff in and you can see we're right there nice substantial steel rod and then we're going to go into this little hole right here and you can see I've already got that marked and what we're looking at is for about eight and three eighths somewhere around there and when we go in there we're looking at about an inch and three eighths and if we put our, we put this right here on it, we can see we are right at an inch and three eighths from that side right there. And if we go around the other side, we're about an inch and three eighths or so coming from the back side. So that is perfect. Something else you can do just to make sure is you can run this little thing in here like that and you can feel that hole that's in there if you go in like it's 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 catching on that that passageway in there if you stick this thing in here and you don't catch anything then your plug could be too far so guys just just make sure you put that in right I can't emphasize that enough if you're gonna do this yourself All right, we got it all done, except for uh, need to get an extra one of those plugs right there. I've got that one, got it in the bag. I, it's easier to show people what you need than it is to try and explain it. And if I put it in this bag, it's less likely to get lost than if I put it in my pocket. Okay, we're gonna start wrapping this up here. And we've got this little plug that goes right here. That's on the other side of our forgotten plug, if you forgot about it. Make sure we put that in. Okay, and what else we got going here? Okay, we got uh, these two plugs right here. This goes into the water jacket right there. Now, I used one of these for that right there. So, what I'm going to do is put a little of that thread sealer stuff on that one. And then uh, this one gets to be lucky. And I guess it gets to be a brass one because they didn't have one like that. They had it with a screw head on it. And I didn't want that because I know that would be hard to get out. In the future so let's uh, let's get that in like the way that got on the bottom of that right there so just wipe that off just want it on the on the threads
Okay, well I think that uh, got it guys. There could always be some plug that I've overlooked right there and y'all can leave that in the comment section. So uh, anyway, we got our uh, freeze plugs installed and I think we're uh, pretty much good to go. So I think all the freeze plugs turned out pretty nice. Everything went together. So the only problem we had was that one right there. So, okay guys, well, if you liked what you saw here, then hit the like button, share, subscribe. Homestead Prepper out.